once you get your LLC, your duty is you need to apply your ENI number in IRS. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista and welcome to Fit Hustler TV. Today I'm gonna talk about how to apply your first LLC in your first business to make it legit. But before I start this video, I just wanna clarify that I am not a CPA, I'm not an attorney, or a legal advisor. I'm just like a dude you just found in YouTube who's talking about fitness, business, and some investment strategies. So if you like this content, if you like this channel, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I will appreciate that. And also if you found this helpful, I would appreciate as well if you're gonna share and like this video if you have some comments or if you have some question towards at the end or towards in this video feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to answer that as soon as I can so without further ado let's jump into it so LLC that's the one that I just applied for my first ever business which is I'm so proud and it's legit now all right so what I did is there are two ways where you can apply your LLC and also before I start this one I just want to say like there are different kind of license or tax license where you can apply for like LLC S Corp C, po C Corp etc all right you just need to research or ask your attorney or ask your CPA which one would be beneficial or will be support your first legal business all right so what I did is I just researched and I asked some question on my attorney which one is the best for this business I'm just gonna do it he said LLC is the best for me but you know you can research by your own make sure that S Corp C Corp LLC or sole proprietorship whichever suit in your business all right make sure to research that one before applying to any kind of this license or tax licensing LLC is good for my business so that's I have applied for so what I did is like I have paid someone to do this LLC to establish my LLC or my first LLC there are two types of LLC where you can apply for it all right there's a paid version and there's a unpaid version like a free version basically it's not really free but you know if you don't want to do it like step by step by yourself you can do like a paid version which is i did or else if you want to do it by yourself you need to do it like step by step and you can save some money instead of paying someone to do it for you okay is that clear so let's just move on what i'm gonna talk about is the first one is the paid version which is i did i just want to clarify that i am not paid or sponsored of this website i'm gonna tell you about in this video make sure that you are aware on that one so this is the website that i have paid for my LLC or my first LLC, you know, to establish for my first LLC and make my business legit. And this is La Zen Business. If you go or type in in your URL www.zenbusiness.com, you can choose which one you prefer. All right, they have like different pricing what suits for your budget. The first one is the basic, the second one is the most popular and the last one is the pro. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember just inside my head. So what I did was the most popular one, which is I paid for $280 to file my LLC. And what I did is as soon as I contact them, I create my login account. I chosen the most popular one which I paid for 280 on their website what they did is they just filed them by themselves so what I gained there is like instead of me filing my first LLC they did it for me all right and also I chosen that most popular one it's because like number one they will file your LLC and second they will also file your ENI number which is very important after you file your LLC I'm gonna talk about that later on after you file your LLC like by doing by yourself all right and second I paid for worrying less as well like let's say if I have question or if I don't understand inside the LLC they will do it for me or if I need to change something like for the owner for the CEO of my business if I have to do that I don't have to do it by myself all I need is just contact 
contact them and they will resolve my issue or whatever I want to change inside of my LLC so I paid for that one they call it like worry free or stress free so that you don't have to worry about if something happened in your business you know or if something like you want to change something they will do it for you all right that's the one that I have chosen I think the basic one if I remember if you want to do like just the LLC you will pay less with their basic option and I think if you want to choose the pro one which is the most expensive one what they will do is they will get your LLC filed ENI number filed your stress or worry free as well and also they will do some website for your first business as well or the business that you want to establish so it's like different kind of services that they do and also take note you have to pay their service plus the fee for your LLC which will be in your state fee and it depends on your state fee how much would be your LLC so I highly recommend like if you want to do your business in your state make sure you file your LLC in that state for example I'm from Florida and I file my LLC in Florida state of Florida otherwise if I file my LLC in let's say for example in New York and my business will be in Florida that will be much complicated so make sure if you're gonna establish your business in your state file your LLC in your state right it's gonna be the same that's what I researched for and that's what my attorney told me about it if I'm gonna file my LLC make sure it's gonna be the same where I am gonna establish my business and also it's the same where my address is so it won't be complicated all right so if you want to do that way feel free to go to www.zenbusiness.com and now i'm gonna show you or i'm gonna tell you how to do it by your own all right if you want to save some money or if you don't have some money to do this llc or this website that they can do it for you what you can do is do it by yourself all you need to do is just pay the state fee all right what I have mentioned earlier so what you need to do is for me as I said earlier I am from Florida so what I did is I went to the bank I said to the bank like I want to open a business account so they asked for my if I have my establishment of my business if I have like license like the LLC S Corp C Corp and you, you know all that stuff I said no so what they did was they gave me some instruction what to do which is I look into as well and in fact I have this credit card or credit card credit card <laughs> I have this card what they show me what they need to do step by step all right so this is I'm gonna tell you now so first of all they told me to register my business into sunbiz.org Org, all right this is based on Florida State you have to find out which one or which website that you need to go in your state to file or register your business and then after that you have to pay for as I said the state fee for your business or the state fee to register your business all right but here in Florida or I think in Florida I have paid for $120 that's included when I paid my service in Zen business all right so take note on that one because sometimes they change different amount or they change the fee amount in the state fee in your area so research on that one sometimes they might be a little bit less or sometimes a little bit more so what they told me is to register first and after that you need to go to irs.gov so once you registered your business into sandbeast.org here in Florida they told me to go to irs.gov to get my ENI number remember you have to do this by your own all right if you want to save some money so once you get your LLC registered or your business registered when then once you go to irs.gov sorry about that that's our dog come on Rafi come on Rafi <laughs> Once you go to irs.gov, you need to register your ENI number. Remember what I told you earlier? Zen Business will apply your ENI number, you know, based on their service, what you have paid them, right? But here, once you get your LLC, your duty is you need to apply your ENI number in irs.gov, right? Makes sense? So, after you registered 
your LLC and then once you got your ENI number, what the bank told me is like bring the letter from the irs.gov and also my ENI number so I can apply my business account with them. All right. So that is the two steps where you can apply your first LLC to make your business legit okay so if you have some question or confusement in this video try to comment down below or comment down below I will answer your question as soon as I can or as soon as see your message if I know the answer I will go type in straight away and I'll get back to you I promise that all right so this is the video for today I hope you found this helpful and for my next video what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you which bank I applied for my business and and also what kind of accounts or bank accounts that I have applied for my business so that you know you can apply as well which is you know suitable for your business to make your business profitable all right so I hope you like this video if you do smash that like button for me and I would appreciate that and as I said earlier if you haven't subscribed in this channel I would appreciate if you can subscribe and also share this video if you found this helpful thank you for watching until the end or until until this end for watching this whole video with me i appreciate that one until next time i'll see you on the other side and always remember stay hungry <sighs> peace man sample i'm fr i'm from fro i'm fr i'm from fro